Now we are going to install the database software on our TED server. Uh, for a software this complex, the installation process is surprisingly easy. Start your virtual machine if you haven't done so already, then open a terminal. Log in as root and execute the xhost command as shown here. This will allow Oracle user to open the installer window from the command line. Now log in as Oracle and navigate to the directory we unzipped the install media just before. When you're there, start the installer by executing dot slash run installer. If you get this warning we are going to get here, just ignore. I'm not quite sure why we are getting this. Interestingly, you probably won't get this if installing on CentOS only on Oracle Linux. On the other hand, on CentOS you'll get warning on system requirements that we are uh, that we'll not see here, and they should be ignored just the same. Nonetheless, it will work just fine regardless. Here on the first screen, I mark the security updates checkbox and click next. We are going to just install the software for now, so change the selection on this screen here. Keep single instance database installation and also keep selected language as English. And Enterprise Edition is what we want. Here you shouldn't need to change anything, just take a quick look and make sure the directories for Oracle Base and Software Location are correct. Same here, no need to change anything, just make sure it's all fine. And again, values should be correct here. Here is where you would see some package missing warnings on CentOS, but if you follow the, uh, the guide from the beginning, you can safely ignore them and click finish. At 94% you'll get this window here asking you to execute some scripts as root user. Open a new terminal and do so as I'm going to show you here. Now back at the installer, click OK and then close and we are done installing Oracle database. 
Before we move on, let's configure some environment variables that will save us lots of time by not having to configure them every time they are needed. Open gedit as root or oracle, uh, then open dot bash profile located at home slash oracle directory. You'll need to enable hidden files before you can see it. Add the environment variables at the bottom of this file. You can copy them from the guide linked in the description of this video. Uh, do the exact same thing for the .bash rc file located at the same directory. And we are done. On the next video we'll be creating a listener for our database.